Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Nehor Refri again with a third video lecture on fanatics. What's our lecture all about? You can see our outcomes. Definition of a consonant, description of consonant sounds, place of articulation, voicing, manner of articulation. We'll discuss it in our next video because it's a very important topic. It needs thorough understanding, full understanding, complete understanding. So if you are ready, let's get started. Now it's time to discuss a monster called consonant. How a consonant sound is produced. Look at the screen for its definition. Consonants involve some constriction of air flow. Constriction means uh, the gap or the distance between two articulators while producing a sound. Constriction also stands for obstruction that is caused to the air flow somewhere in the vocal track. Okay, consider the production of a consonant sound t, t. How this sound is produced? It is produced actually when uh, tip of the tongue is in contact with the uh, alveolar ridge. So what happens to the air flow? It is trapped behind these two articulators. So ta is considered to be a consonant sound. Why is it so? Because there is obstruction caused to the air flow in the vocal tract. When we are going to compare consonant sound with wall sound, we see a different story altogether like uh, there is no obstruction caused to the air flow in the production of wall sound like uh, there is a wall sound for example a uh, a uh, like about so how is this sound produced uh, it is produced with no obstruction to the air flow in the vocal track like uh, the air stream is uh, traveling freely uh, through mouth cavity and then into outside atmosphere. In order to describe consonants, phonetics gives us three parameters. These are the characteristics. You can call them characteristics or you can describe consonant with these three parameters. First one is voicing, second one is place of articulation, and third one is manner of articulation. Voicing is something that has already been talked about, we know very well about it. It's a kind of activity that is related to vocal cords. When vocal cords are vibrating in the production of a sound, that sound is called voice sound. When there is no vibration in the vocal cords, we may call that sound a voiceless sound. And what makes the vibration in the vocal cords? You know that the air stream that comes out of the lungs. So that air stream causing vibration or causing no vibration in our vocal cords. The examples you can see on the screen. It's time to throw a bit of light on place of articulation. When we say place of articulation, it means that uh, What's the place in the vocal track where the sound is produced from? Or what's the place in the vocal track where the obstruction to airflow occurs? So this is what we call place of articulation because uh, uh, consonants are produced with some obstruction to airflow in the vocal track. We know that. Okay, taking our start from the fast one, bilabial. Bi means uh, to and labial means lips so these are the sounds produced uh, when two lips come together what are these sounds so these are uh, p, b, m, m. the place of constriction of airflow for these sounds is lips labiodental it means the constriction of airflow takes place when the upper front teeth and uh, lower lip come together so that's why we call them a labio means uh, lips and dental teeth the sounds are f, f, 
So lower lip and uh, upper front teeth form the area where the constriction of airflow takes place, where the obstruction, constriction means obstruction of airflow takes place. Okay, there is no difference between constriction and obstruction. Interdental. Inter stands for in between and uh, dental for teeth. So these are the sounds produced uh, when uh, we place the tongue in between upper and lower teeth. These sounds are and these sounds are also produced with another way. When uh, tip of the tongue is in contact with the upper front teeth. If this is the case, the sounds are called uh, just dental sounds. Alveolar sounds means uh, the airflow is constricted at alveolar ridge, a little bump just behind our upper front teeth. Well, actually what happens in the production of these sounds that uh, either tip of the tongue or blade of the tongue making full contact with alveolar ridge. This is one case. In another case, it is also possible that uh, tongue is not uh, making a full contact but uh, almost near the alveolar ridge for the production of these sounds. Some alveolar sounds are D, D, and uh, s, s. One more important thing about alveolar ridge that uh, there are many sounds in English which are produced from the back part of alveolar ridge. Actually, it happens when uh, tip of the tongue is in contact with the back part, with the rear part of alveolar ridge. Example is a uh, R, 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 r sound like uh, in the words like tree tree and uh, right right one more variety of uh, uh, post alveolar sound is uh, retroflex like what happens in the production of retroflex sounds that uh, uh, tip of the tongue is curling back. When we are going to pronounce retroflex sound, what happens to our tongue? Actually, the tip of it goes back. It curls back. How? Look at the example like uh, right, right. Look at this. One is right, right, ra. And one is raw, raw, right, right. So right is a retroflex sound like ra, ra, ra. This part, alveolar ridge, is also used in the production of uh, some other sounds called uh, plateau alveolar sounds. Like what happens in the production of these sounds, tip of the tongue is against uh, alveolar ridge and uh, front of the tongue is raised towards hot palate. Some examples of uh, uh, plateau alveolar sounds are ch, ch, j, j, sh, sh, and uh, zh, zh, zh. Palatal sound in the production of which uh, airstream uh, gets a bit of uh, obstruction semi-air at a uh, hot palate. What actually happens that uh, uh, front of the tongue, actually front of the tongue is raised towards hot palate. And this sound is uh, 
yeah. Like yes. In the production of consonant sounds, the so-called airstream gets obstructed uh, somewhere at uh, Willem. Willem means a soft palate. And how this happens when a uh, back of the tongue is in contact with the soft palate. Some uh, wheeler sounds are k, k, and uh, g, g. Actually, the sound produced at glottis called uh, glottal consonant. Glottis is the uh, opening between uh, vocal cords. Okay, uh, where can we find this glottal stop? It is also stop, okay, we call it glottal stop. What is stop? You'll come to know of it in upcoming classes. So where can we find this uh, sound like, uh, it's a kind of mild cough. <coughs> <coughs> like this kind of cough, mild cough, okay, not severe one. And uh, example is, uh, my favorite movie, Batman, Batman. So when I say Batman, 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 look at this, Bat, I don't say Bat, I say Bat, Bat, Man. So this is the example of glottal stop. How we stop produce, you'll come to know of it in upcoming classes, inshallah. In the same place is used for uh, a kind of uh, uh, fricative sound like without friction which is <sighs> so this is also glottal sound but uh, there is a uh, friction and uh, no vibration caused in your vocal cords okay dear friends i think it's enough for today uh, see you some other time till then take good care of yourself and give me a live in your prayers bye bye